Good morning, Movement family. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Alex Sosa, and I serve here in the outreach ministry at the Movement Church alongside my beautiful wife and my daughter. Um, and I'm here today to share with you um, one of my favorite uh, healthy habits. Um, I was asked to, to share about healthy habits, especially during this pandemic. I think that it's very important to partake in this particular habit. Um, but this is something just, you know, for those of you that may be, you know, stay at home parents or are just simply working from home. And that's something that's very new to you. Uh, I think this is something that you could apply in your everyday life. Um, it's zero cost to you. Uh, it's very healthy for you. Um, and it's something that's helped me keep my sanity while from working uh, from home. Uh, so prior to the pandemic, I was already working from home for a few years. Um, so I, I guess you could say I have quite a bit of experience working from home. Uh, but this was something that, that, that helped me, you know, pre-pandemic and, of course, during the pandemic. Um, and so my healthy habit to share with you all today is, is, is walking, <laughs> simple walk. Um, you know, whether it's one walk a day or a couple walks a day, um, getting getting some walking done dur throughout the day will help you disconnect from what you're doing. You know, whether it be chasing the kids all day or cleaning the house or, you know, working from from home in front of a computer for eight plus hours or or what have you. Um, and so what I tend to do is I, I typically, you know, go for a morning walk with my dog. Um, and I use this time, 45 minutes to, to an hour of, you know, just disconnect and, and being able to connect with God. Uh, when I say disconnect, obviously, I mean from everything other than the Lord um, and, and, and basically just focus on him, focus on, on things that I need to do, really clear my mind and, and, and start my day off with a good note. Um, obviously, it's very healthy for you to walk and beneficial. Um, so this is it's kind of a a great two for one, right? Um, another, another, another way you can walk is, is obviously, you know, you, you can find the place that you like the most, right? Whether it be the beach or uh, a, tr a park, a trail, um, whatever it is that you like. If you like the outdoors, taking a walk in nature, that's always very relaxing, very rewarding, uh, very peaceful. Um, uh, typically on Saturday mornings or Sunday mornings, my wife and my daughter and I, you know, we, we like to go, you know, to the beach for a walk. We like to go to Guahome for a walk. We like to go, you know, to Safari Park and just walk around and see the animals. But obviously being in nature is very, again, relaxing and very, you know, peaceful. Um, and, and, and throughout the day as well. I mean, take breaks. If you're sitting in front of the computer for eight hours, you know, every couple hours, give yourself 20, 30 minutes and go take a stroll around your neighborhood. And you'll find that the disconnect is one healthy for your brain. It helps you unwind just a bit, um, helps you clear your mind. Uh, but also it's obviously healthy to get that exercise in. Right. And before you know it, you've got an hour worth of, of steps in the day. You know, you've got a, you know, a couple thousand steps that you normally wouldn't take. Right. Oftentimes when we're working from home, we live very sedentary lives uh, and we don't take any exercise or any time to exercise, I should say. Um, and so this is very important. Get your heart pumping, get you outdoors, get some oxygen in you, get you away from in front of that screen for a bit. Get away from the children for a bit if you have to. Um, but again, walking is so important for your health, but it's also very good for your mind, right? So, so mental health as well. Um, and, and yeah, basically that, that's my healthy habit for you. I hope you can apply it to your life and it helps you, um, you know, take some breaks or, or just clear your head or at, at least it'll allow you some time to, to reflect and, and, and connect with, with Jesus. So uh, again, I, I want to send you all my love. I wish you all the best. I <clears throat> hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great rest of your week, great weekend, you know, and just remember that you're always loved and you belong here at the movement. God bless.